for the multi-man silence. The mid one just chunking through the creep waves with this Crystalis. One shot and they're gone. And there's the combo. Telekinesis Ice Blast attempted onto Envy. Post the BKB, trying to run himself away from Fada. He'll make it. Does get back to the fountain. But he'll have to wait there a few seconds whilst that Ice Blast debuff is upon him. It's an Aghanim's Blast too, so it does last a lot longer. And yet, oh, no. it and gets him. I mean, Yaps was going to say absolutely worth. In fact, he may. He may even live out of this one. Yaps was trying to get himself out. No, he does fall. Arbed trying to get himself back. The BKB self fuels. He's so low here. The ghost to can Arbed keep himself alive. He tries to turn with the Chris Swarm, but the X marks there. Will drag Arbed back into the hands of Ace. Arbed falls. Fnatic, they've lost three. DJ comes forward with the epicenter, but there just isn't the follow up damage the Fnatic need as GG is called. Secret are your champions here at the Corsair Dream League Season 9, taking the series 3 to 0 against Fnatic. They just look on a completely different level, to be completely honest, in these games. They just, the movements around the map, they just, they, everyone just needs to be farming pretty freely, and it just, it just seems like there was nothing Fnatic could do in those points. They set back this gyro back, gyro so much, Envy was about forced to make all those rotations, and Secret, without dropping a single game here at Dream League. Absolutely. I mean, this roster, we, we saw it at the sort of the start of the DPC season, having an amazing time. They sort of had a, a bit of a lull, but now they're, now they're back, and they're absolutely back. These wins that they've had here, the amount of games that have just been not close at all, it's, it's, it's been it, yeah. the majority of them. This has been Secret dominating team after team right up until these grand finals. These three games were no exception. They just were not close at all. There was nothing close flawless. about these games. It was actually just like flawless performance from Seekers. Just little times they die, saving like in, in like these little situations too. They're so patient, holding their BKBs for the perfect situations, just never allowing Fnatic a, a way back into this game. And this is sort of the problem that all the other top teams at the moment are going to have to look at. If you're playing against Secret at any land in the future, what, what do you even take away from what we've seen from them here? They've played so many different styles, so many different drafts. How do you? even begin to think of ways to deal with Secret. I don't know, Owen. Puppy is... I mean, if you did know, you could probably make a lot of money as a coach. <laughs> Puppy's on you. some real mastermind stuff right now with these drafts. This, this Kunkka versus the Gyrocopter really seems to be a great solution to the hero. And just the all-around play. They're on fire. Understandable disappointment, though, from Fnatic. A team that has a lot of other stuff to, to take away from this land. You know, yep. by all means, they did struggle here massively against Secret in the 3-0 but they had their highlights elsewhere. But for now, Secret are your champions of the Corsair Dream League Season 9. Congratulations. Thank you. It was a hell of a performance. You guys didn't drop a single game the entire tournament. And there must have been some. You had like a one and a half week break. What happened? Something happened. Um, I guess we had some talks and figured some stuff out. Got some cool picks going and yeah, just got us here. Okay. Can we sit down actually? We have a couch behind you. It can make, be a lot more comfortable that way. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that wasn't me. Uh, you can sit on the side. Welcome to my office. What's up, guys? <laughs> I mean, I can sit on, uh, you know, if you guys are sitting like that, I am. Uh, this is going great. Congratulations. Thank you. Back to back champions. Yeah, back to back dream hack. The, uh, two, the two time. The two time. Uh, how, how was this tournament for you guys? Um, well, uh, we just uh, took a relaxation week, basically. Uh, played some pubs, played some other games too, and kind of relaxed and came in here fresh. Yeah. We kind of just made our own style of plays and uh, kind of went with it. Worked out really well. Can you talk to us a little bit about the Kunkka versus Gyro, which you seem to like a lot? Well, it's one of mid one's favorites to play right now. I can't really go further in detail, but uh, sure. we do pick it for reasonings, and uh, those reasons are good apparently, and they work out until somebody uh, finds a way to play against it somehow. Mm -hmm. Well, for now it works out. What was you know the the change that you've been through the last couple of uh, of weeks? What was the the problem, the biggest problem that you addressed in this in the break you had before coming here? I think uh, the issue of our last tournaments was that we were very stressful. We were not comfortable with anything really. Okay. Uh, none of the none of the things made sense to us, or or like not perhaps like 
na namely, there's no point to call out individual, but uh, like it just just stress. It is okay. just like a little bit too much Dota, and yeah. a little bit too much. Oh, and we need to figure out constantly what to do, and it's just uh, it can lead to a very stressful uh, environment, and it's just going to be uncomfortable. Things are not going to be positive whatsoever, and it's just going to be you know pretty bad. But after a week of relaxation, it kind of works out, and mm -hmm. uh, you know things kind of solved themselves in a way. And how big of a role is Sunvi's uh, role in that one? Because Sunvi, you're, you're part of the team too, you know. You can sit over here. Yeah, come here, Pete. <laughs> Aww. Well, uh, you know, they Sunbi and Yapsor, they came to Estonia for a week. Okay. That was the, I mean, that was obviously, <laughs> that's, that's obviously uh, the reason why we won. Obviously. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> yeah. But uh, no, it's... Uh, Yapsor has been uh, to been tolerated by uh, Pete okay. the whole week, and uh, I guess uh, you know whatever it, it can be explained from there. Overall, yeah. Estonian Air. Estonian Air. Mm -hmm. That was it. That's, Key that's actually a company name, but is it actually? Yeah. Oh, sorry, not sponsored. Yeah, not sponsored. <laughs> sponsored by Corsair, though. <laughs> there who you are, go. Uh, who are also sponsoring this t tournament? They are actually, yeah. Yeah, no. really they uh, they give us some good ass gear. Good. Yeah. Glad to hear it. Yeah. Glad to hear it. So. Overall, you uh, hereby are second in DPC. I can tell you that. Maybe oh, you probably okay. knew that already yourself. No, we don't. No? You don't care? It's like, you see how it goes? No, it's just like uh, you move forward to win tournaments, not to care about your DPC points. Fair enough, fair enough. What's uh, what's next for you guys? Uh, China. Are you flying tomorrow? Yeah, DAC. All right, <laughs> China. You want to speak to anybody? You want to speak to... Uh, we, we choose everybody, because I, know, let's, cause let's, I already talked to Fado and I'm very happy with that. Cause it, let's you know. let's go with a mid one right now. It's the, the trophy holder right the here. The trophy holder. Uh, what was it like playing Kunka, Hello. mid one? Um, Pretty fun. <laughs> yeah? You made Kunka, Phoenix mid. Any other heroes that we're going to see from you mid? No, 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 no. I'm going to keep it one. as a secret. I'm going to keep it as a secret. <laughs> it's, it, it's something is coming up, but something secret. Boiling. Looking forward to it. How was, how was the tournament for you? Uh, very good. Uh, I'm pretty confident. That, that I think that's why we won, I guess. How was it beating your former teammates and your former team? Oh. <laughs> but <laughs> I mean, I, I always say it's super good. It's, I feel really great. Uh, I don't know how to say, like, great, I guess. Is it different from beating other teams? Because there's some history there, of course. I mean, we lost to Fnatic in Major before, I yeah, think. Yeah, Katowice. So, yeah. I, I feel really good. We got our revenge. Yeah. yeah. Are you at 100% like form? There's no such thing. There's no such thing. Whoa. Okay, Yapsor says there's no such thing. Okay. How, what, what would you, what? Never 100%? Never. Limitless. 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 Oh, ah, that sounds very scary. Okay. <laughs> Are you infinite percent? Infinite percent? Not yet, then. Oh, he was. Are you infinite percent? Yeah. There you go. All right. Got him. <laughs> hey, I know that uh, a couple of you play instruments, and we always have Thomas play uh, people out. Do you want to play yourself out? What? You <laughs> fucking <laughs> no. Oh. Leave dabbles with the bass for sure. Yeah. Oh, I'm not. No, 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 no. The bass. Okay, so uh, apparently mid one dabbles in the drums. It's here by said puppy says it, so it must be true. And apparently Yapsor is all about the bass. No. <laughs> he loves bass. But he loves bass. He loves bass, but he doesn't uh, play it. Do you want to play yourself out, or you want Thomas to do it for you? Thomas is the man. Thomas is the man. Puppy, you're you're the the musical. Everybody knows you play the guitar. I know Fada yeah. plays uh, as well. I'll play afterwards. You play afterwards? I mean, Pete, if you're gonna play the trumpet, right? do you actually play trumpet? Of course. <laughs> of course. Doesn't he look like a trumpet type of guy? <laughs> <laughs> well, I would know. Can we try? Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Oh God. Oh God. <laughs> Too rough. Right. Wait, I'm giving Michael. Can I have the trumpet? Fuck. Okay. I mean, only. I want to see the Asian combo, the Asian... Sun Rim, it's all yours. Oh Can we get a mic, you All right. <sighs> no pressure, but you, you got to have... Come on, he needs some backup. Puppy, come on. Look, what I want to see here is a, a nice uh, uh, 
presentation of the Asian fusion we have in our team. Uh, we uh, we need uh, we need Pete Lee on the trumpet and uh, Midwon on those on those drums, bongos. He usually wishes to play with, but this time he has to play with the drums. The Asian fusion, team secret. Let's go. It's going to be so good. Midwon, come. I'll take this off your hands for a second. <laughs> yep, sir. I'm sure you want to take care of this one. <clears throat> you can you can stand next to him. You can come for him right there if you want. <clears throat> That's fine. You know what? The moment that you guys start playing, doesn't matter how awful it sounds or how amazing it sounds, we're gonna just slowly pan out because obviously this was the end of Dream League season nine. It was a uh, it was a great show. Thank you to Corsair, Monster Energy, DreamHack, making it possible. And uh, and and that's it. So <laughs> you're, you're gonna be carried by the bass player anyway. Let's go. Yeah. <clears throat> Just do something. Anything. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Can I have that? I'm holding it in front of your horn. Huh? No? Blow it out. Just do one one horn thing. Oh my I don't trumpet <laughs> Thank you, that was it. All right. Thank you so much, guys. Congratulations once again. Thank you for doing that. <laughs> See you next season. That was awful. <laughs> but thank you. That was great. Thank you, congrats.